Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and the new expedition is out. The Exobiology Expedition is out. So, I'm going to show you guys how to start it. You need to start a brand new save. So, if you have a lot of saves like me, you got to go all the way down and go to the one that's open. This new game save data right here. And you need to start the Community Expedition over here. There's no way for you to start it on a previous save or like your main save. You have to start fresh because they give you a whole bunch of new items. They have specific tasks, you know, milestones for you to do. And they don't want you to cheat and start, you know, using a a save that, you know, is super advanced. Like for players who've played like 500 hours, they don't want you to have a head start. And also, we are all starting on the same planet. So everyone is starting in the same area with the same upgrades and tech and pets, by the way. So you have to start it off, but don't worry. All the rewards that you earn will be shared across all your other saves. So as long as you're playing on the same profile, you will get all the rewards on, across all your different saves. God, this is such a good looking planet too. I played this earlier on stream today and it was really, really, really fun. So I can't wait it, just to kind of, kind of give you guys tips on what's going to happen. It is very pet focused, so companion focused. You want to upgrade your pets, you know, use your pets, actually, you know, you know, recruit things, scan animals. Very animal and pet orientated this expedition is. So hopefully you guys are into that. And I mean, if you're not, at least you get some really cool rewards like the backpack, the, uh, the jet trail is really cool. And you can get a pet robot, a pet quad as one of your pets, so definitely do that. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is you have a pet. So number one, actually, if you go to your menu, press pause, you have an expedition tab right here, and this will tell you all the things that you're supposed to do, all your missions that you're aiming for. And they do put them in kind of an order, but this order is not required. So if you want to jump ahead to phase four, and you say, hey, I want to adopt a beetle companion, you can totally try to do that right now, and you can do it if you find a beetle companion. They do put them in order of easiest to hardest, so a lot of these first uh, milestones are really easy and, you know, able to be done really quickly. And then as you progress to phase two and phase three, they get a little bit harder, but don't think that you have to do them in order. You don't have to. And then let's pull out our pet. So we go over, press down on your D-pad, go over to your creature, your paw icon right over here. And you have one pet automatically. Look at this egg right here. Oh, it's so good. So here's our pet. Oh, look at mine. That's pretty awesome. I love this guy. Looks like a big old ant. And if you press hold down X or square for on PlayStation X, if you're on Xbox, you can pet your, uh, your, your little pet, your uh, companion. You can pet them and make them happier because you want them to be happy. And then you can ride them. Because one of the first milestones you have to uh, complete is riding your pet for 800 feet. So if you want to know what that is, press pause on your menu. Click on the Paw Prince mission and it'll say, hey, look, you need to walk 850 feet on your pet. So let's go do it. And if you click in your right thumbstick, you can run a little bit so it goes a little bit faster. But yeah, look at that. Boom, running around with our pet. Doing awesome, man. Doing awesome. So, and we're heading towards our ship, which is over there, because we have to fix our ship as well. And don't think that this is a race. This is not a race of, I need to get this done as quick as possible, because you want to collect as many materials and do a lot of cool stuff. Like, wow, look at this. Do I have an advanced mining laser? I do not. Dang it. I need an advanced mining laser on my multi-tool. I wish. But you want to collect as many materials as you can, in the early going, so get all that carbon, get all that ferrite dust, collect as much as you possibly can, because you're going to need this later on. Oh, runaway mold. Dang it, I need advanced mining laser for that. Ah, oh, I could get a whole bunch of uh, nanites for that. But that's okay, though. We don't need nanites yet. We can get that a little bit later. Again, not a race. You're not, I mean, unless you want to make it into a race. If you're like a professional, I've been playing No Man's Sky for five years, you probably know what's going on. You know how to get it done, get it done fast, get it done early. And so I would just say, 
scan as many animals as you can because it has to do with a lot of animal stuff. And get as much carbon as you can because you're going to need to make creature pellets later on. So do all of that stuff. Oh, yeah, and by the way, another milestone you have to do is take a picture of your pet. So if you press down on your D-pad, you can go over to this little camera mode, the photo mode, and it pauses the game if you're in single player. If you're multiplayer, it will not pause it because it can't pause it for everybody. But you can look around, and on Xbox, you need to take a screenshot. So in order to take a screenshot on Xbox, you have to hit your guide button, the little Xbox button, and then press Y on your controller, and it'll take a screenshot. If you're on PC... You definitely, you don't take a screenshot through Steam. You have to literally follow the command prompts on the screen. Like if you're playing with a controller like me on PC, you have to press A to take a screenshot. You also have to do the same thing on PlayStation. You have to take a screenshot through your menu. So do whatever it tells you to do in that menu. So we just got our milestone done for that one. But again, yeah, at the bottom of the screen, it says, hey, these are all the controls. And you see how it says press A to take a screenshot? That's what you have to do. You have to follow whatever prompt it tells you. You can't just take a screenshot on your own. But let's accept our reward for taking a picture of our pet. We're going to get $500,000. We're going to learn 100 Corvax words. And we're going to increase our standing with the Corvax, which is awesome. Look at that. Right from the get-go. Best friend's portrait. I love it. So good. So let's talk to our... Let's get to our uh, pet again because we need to ride him for... a. A few more hundred feet. We're going to pat him. And we're going to ride you, buddy. Let's go. Where's our ship at? All right, our ship is over there. So let's go. And sometimes you need to give them a little bit of a nudge to get them to run. So click in that right thumbstick. That way they run. Love it. And so, yeah, we're, we're, look at that. we're, we're uh, getting up there pretty awesome. Look, 600. About to get to 700. This is a lot of the early phase stuff is really easy to kind of warm you up and get you settled into playing No Man's Sky. So if you've never played No Man's Sky, it kind of tutorializes all the stuff. If you're a pro player, you know how you can just knock this stuff out really easy, but you also get a lot of rewards, so you definitely want to do all the early milestones. Paw Prince rode for 850 feet. And again, don't forget, you have to accept the reward once you've earned it. So hit your pause button and accept it. So boom. We got Unearthed Treasure, we got a whole bunch of creature pellets, and a powerful mining beam upgrade. So that's why you want to accept those rewards. Let's go into our inventory and check this out. We have these two chests right here. We can sell this and make money at a, at a space station, so we're going to hold on to that for now. We have our mining beam module, so let's get this one in here. Boom. And again, you see how it's all your technology is messed up, but if you hold down X... Or if you're on Xbox or Square if you're on PlayStation, you're able to pick it up and move your technology in a different spot. You want your mining beam upgrade to be next to your mining beam. That way it has a big green square around it. It makes it work even better. So you want that green square all the way around it. So now what we have to do is we have to fix our ship because our ship is broken, as always. But... It's going to be pretty quick, you know, easy to, to upgrade and to fix. So what we need to do is, well, we can jump into our ship and it'll tell you what you need to go get. Let's jump in here real fast. And it says, hey, your launch thruster is busted. You need dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite. Now, we don't have an advanced mining laser, so we're going to need to dig up regular ferrite and refine it. But luckily... We start out with a portable refiner in our inventory. So let's pop this baby down right here. Now we have our portable refiner. We need to put fuel in it. That way it can work. And we need to put in ferrite dust. Ferrite dust will turn into pure ferrite. But we need a lot more than that. So we need to go get some more ferrite dust, which comes out of rocks. So get these guys right here. That's a cave rock, so that's not going to really work. You see how it says cobalt on it? That means it'll give you cobalt. That's not what we need. We need ferrite dust from regular rocks like that. You see that? Boom. There you go. Ferrite dust all over the place. So just mine a whole bunch of rocks. That way we can get a lot of ferrite dust in here and move on to fixing our second component. This is just the first thing that's broken. We also have another thing that's broken as well. 
So while we're out here getting ferrite dust, also remember to get carbon out of trees and plants. Because carbon, you can use to fuel a lot of stuff, so you need that carbon. And you're gonna need a lot of it. And we're playing in normal mode, so... Your inventory can hold up to 9,999 of a certain material in each slot. So, we can get 9,999 carbon in one square. Alright? So, don't worry about getting too much of it. You, believe me, it's hard to get all the way up to 9,000 carbon. It's possible, but it's hard to do, so no worries about, you know, overdoing it or getting too much of it. You're good to go. We should be good on carbon for a little while. Get this. All right, now let's look for more rocks because we need more ferrite dust. There it is. It's like an avocado. I love it. Boom. All right, let's get this one right here. Boom. There we go. Now, oh, our pet just uh, pooped a little bit. I'll take that because later on you're going to need to search through some poop anyway. So if you want to feed your pet and have them poop for you, more power to you. It'll help you in the long run. Let's get back in our ship. That way we can recharge our hazard protection while we're waiting. So now we have enough. Oh, yeah, we didn't make the pure ferrite. Duh. So let's put the rest of the ferrite dust that we picked up in our refiner. And we can make pure ferrite. So ferrite dust right there. And there you go. So that's what we're doing right now. We're also looking for these blue crystals. Dihydrogen crystals. That's what we're looking for. So get these blue crystals. And if you don't see any around you, click in your left thumbstick, and it'll highlight them for you. See, it has a big old blue H on it? That's how you know there's dihydrogen crystals right there. So, you know, just again, for anybody new just jumping in right now, that's an easy way to spot it. But eventually you get used to seeing them. Dihydrogen crystals are all over the place, so you're basically tripping on them all over the place, so... It gets pretty easy to, to identify them out in the middle of nowhere, you know, when you're walking around. You're like, oh, there it is. Boom. So there we go. Now our refiner should be done. There it is. Yep, it is done. So we have all our refined uh, pure ferrite. So we should be good. Let's pop into our ship again. Oh, no, no. We don't want to talk to you. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to get in my ship. There we go. So now we have the 50 pure ferrite and the dihydrogen jelly. I forgot to tell you guys, you can make dihydrogen jelly with the dihydrogen crystals. So in your inventory, press A if you're on Xbox or uh, X if you're on PlayStation. Go down and dihydrogen jelly, you need 40 dihydrogen crystals to make the jelly. So we already have one, so we should be good to go. There we go. Boom and boom. Done and done. So now we need to fix the pulse engine, which means we need a hermetic seal and metal plating. So in order to make a hermetic seal, you will need, it's a recipe in here, our blueprint, 30 condensed carbon. So you can put carbon in the refiner and it will give you condensed carbon. It refines it into condensed carbon. And in order to get the uh, metal plating, you need 50 ferrite dust. So we refined all of our ferrite dust earlier. We need to make some more of it. So let's get some more rocks. We need some ferrite dust. And don't worry about, you know, if you don't want to go crazy with it, that's totally fine. Because if you go to the space station, you can buy all this stuff in bulk. So if you just want to get off the, the planet, just get what you need and move along. So now, oh yeah, we need to refine some carbon to make some carbon. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, we already have our refiner out here. Don't forget to pick it up. I always forget mine, so if you do, don't worry. I always forget mine. Let's pick up our carbon, and we're going to drop it 100 because it'll give us 56 condensed carbon. We don't need that much. We're going to need some, I mean, and especially later on, you're going to need a lot more. So, you know, but we, right now, we don't need that much, so we're good with 56. Good to go. And now let's pick up our refiner. That way we don't lose it. I don't leave it here when we leave. So we have everything we need right now. So let's do the hermetic seal. We need that. And metal plating. We need 50 ferrite dust. We have that. So now we're good to go. We have all the items we need. So now our ship is completely fixed. Yes. Perfect. Done and done. So let's lift off. And don't worry about your pet. Your pet will automatically come into your inventory when you take off. So you don't even have to worry about it. Head to the stars. 
And now we have the liftoff milestone completed, yes. So, now, let's go into our pause menu and accept our reward for this one. Collect the reward for locating your ship. We have our teleport receiver, which is a good upgrade for your ship. And we also got the metal mount! Storage, augmentation, and teleport receiver plans. There you go. So let's get this one. Lift off. We got a launch system recharger, wiring loom, and solar mirror plans. Those are blueprints we can make use to make stuff later on. So very, very awesome. Very easy to do. There you go. So now our next one is to leave this lifeless system, find a lush world, and induce a companion egg, and reach the first rendezvous. So we need to leave this system, but in order to leave it, we need to build a hyperdrive. And we have the hyperdrive plans, but we're going to need chromatic metal and a microprocessor. Both of those things can be found on the space station. So let's head over to the space station now. Where is it? It's going to be a, a yellow uh, stop sign looking thing. There it is. So let's head over to the space station. Now, the thing you're going to notice when you get close to the space station is there's something wrong with it. It's broken and the lights are all red. This is an abandoned space station. So the system we start out in is actually an abandoned system. The race that was here before, they just said, look, the system sucks. We're out of here. And they all left. So this is actually what a space station looked, at, looked like when No Man's Sky first launched way long time ago. Back in 2016, this is what they look like. Except for, you know, the lights weren't red. They were blue back then. But now that everyone's left and they, you know, they just got the heck out of here, it's all red. But that's okay. We're going to go over here because the, uh, the wall terminals, the shops, still work. There's not any shopkeepers, so you can't buy any upgrades. But you can buy items from this wall terminal over here. So let's go in here. And because we got paid 500,000 units for our milestone, we have enough money to buy a whole bunch of stuff. What we need is five microprocessors. And we're looking for chromatic metal. So I don't see any chromatic metal. That is fine because we can actually buy the copper that's in here and refine it in our refiner into chromatic metal. So let's buy as much copper as we can get. And also while you're here, I would always suggest buy life support gels and batteries because this will help you with your suit. Like if you're on an extreme planet, you can recharge your hazard protection with batteries and you can recharge your life support with the life support gel. And then earlier when I said you could buy all the ferrite dust you ever need, there you go, boom, 500 right there. You can buy all the oxygen you'll ever need, sodium. So you can buy all your basic materials here. I would also suggest buying some uranium because you can use uranium to refuel your launch thrusters in your ship. So I always buy all the inventory, all the uranium I can get. Let's go to switch to, if you press X if you're on Xbox or square if you're on PlayStation, you switch over to your starship inventory. Let's buy it and put it in our starship because we're out of room in our normal inventory. Let's look at what we got. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We can sell our, uh, our treasure chest that we got. So let's go over and sell some stuff. That way we can make some extra money. Let's sell our bundle of starry skulls. We get 400,000 for that. Yes. Love it. And so we have everything we need, really. We can sell the cobalt. We don't need that cobalt. We can sell the fecium. You don't need the fecium. And so just go through and get rid of some of the stuff that's filling up your inventory. Because your inventory is going to be pretty stacked for a while. And I always like to kind of line up all my stuff. You don't have to. I do it because I'm crazy. So I always put my basic inventories, my basic materials down here. And my more advanced stuff up here. Oh yeah, we have a geode. We can analyze it and get some more... Ferrite. Oh, we got magnetized ferrite. That's good. And then we have our creature pellets. We could put this in our in our exosuit high capacity right in here. Oh, oxygen. Let's put this in our normal inventory because we can put in our creature pellets. You see how it takes two slots in our general inventory? If you put it in your uh, exosuit high capacity inventory, so your cargo, you can actually fit 50 in a slot. So that's why you want to upgrade your cargo. Your cargo holds even more than your general inventory does. All right, so we're pretty good here. We need to get some chromatic metal. So now we need to go down to a planet because we need to put down our refiner. 
You cannot put your refiner down on a space station. They won't let you. You have to be on a planet in order to place your refiner. So let's go put our refiner down and also refine some uh, chromatic metal. So I just landed on the closest uh, planet to me. Uh, just because I just, I just want to plop this thing down. Let's put in... We need to put some fuel in here, number one. Number two, let's put in the copper. And it's going to take us about two minutes to get all of our chromatic metal. That's totally fine. Get that done. And while we're waiting, let's get some carbon because we're going to need condensed carbon later on. So go out and farm as much carbon as you can get. Carbon is the one item you really can't find on a space station. They don't sell carbon because there's so many plants around that you should be out there mining all the plants anyway. So let's get as much carbon as we can get, as much as we can carry. All right, so our chromatic metal is almost done. Oh, there it goes. It's almost, it's, it is done now. So we can grab that, put it in our exosuit. And I was, a, I was out there and I was able to grab over a thousand carbon. So what we need to do is throw in some carbon and make some condensed carbon. That way we can make some fuel for our hyperdrive. So there you go. And while we're doing that, again, go out there and farm as much as you can because it's always, you know, cheapest to get it on your own. It's absolutely free. It just takes your time. So get some more carbon. There we go. So we should be pretty close to done. Oh, there it is. Man, I'm almost like clockwork. I know exactly when this is going to happen. All right, so we're done now. We, we have everything we need. So let's get back in our ship. And now in order to make the hyperdrive, we need chromatic metal and microprocessors. We already have all that stuff. So let's gr put it in there. So now our hyperdrive is built, but it doesn't have any fuel in it. We need to make hyperdrive fuel. So what you need to do is go through your blueprints, press A on Xbox or X if you're on PlayStation. And we need to build number one, a antimatter housing. So build as many as you can. I'm building five. And also you need to build antimatter itself to put inside the housing. So let's do that again. Another five. And once you have those two elements, you can make a warp cell, which is going to refuel your hyperdrive. We made five, so we can make all the way up to five. Done. So we pick this up and put it into our hyperdrive. Now it is completely full, 100%, so we can warp to any system within our reach, our distance. So until you have upgrades in your uh, hyperdrive, right now we can only go up to 164 light years. As you upgrade it, as you put more upgrades into it, you can go farther and farther. Let's get out into space, press down on your D-pad, and you see this little galaxy map, the swirl? Click on that, and then you'll see this. This is the galaxy map. It's awesome. This will let you go anywhere in the galaxy you want. And if you want to navigate this, all you have to do is press B if you're on Xbox or O if you're on PlayStation, and it unlocks it, and you can look and go wherever you want. Now, again... We're limited because our hyperdrive isn't really upgraded. So usually you'll see this green line right here. This is our our uh, trail or the way we have to go. Let's click on our next one right here and boom. Now we're going to our next system, which is awesome, by the way. And so you can just keep doing this over and over. You can go anywhere you want. I would say follow that green line because it will lead you to the next rendezvous, the next checkpoint in the expedition. And you want to hit all the checkpoints in your expedition. So, yep, there we go. Two brighter stars. We went light speed. So we can accept our reward for that. So let's press start. Go to our pause menu and collect our rewards. We learned the warp hypercore plan and a powerful pulse engine upgrade for our ship. So there you go. We learned that blueprint and we also got some. So we have three upgrades in here or three warp hypercores, which is better than a regular hypercore or warp core. This one will fill you up 100% versus just like 10% for the other one. I think it's 20%. We also have our pulse engine up upgrade. So let's pop that baby in. We're going to pop it over here. And then we're going to take our pulse engine and put it right next to it. That way they upgrade each other. There you go. Beautiful. That's what you want to see. So now we're almost there. So let's go back into our galaxy map again. And you see that green line leading up here to this system right here. This is where our rendezvous, this is where the checkpoint is. So let's go to this checkpoint. Because 
one of our uh, milestones is o is to go to the rendezvous, the checkpoint, but it's also to have our, our pet give birth to an egg, to lay an egg, but it will only lay an egg in certain planets. And so if you ever want to check and see what planet your, uh, your pet likes, go over to your creature menu, your pause menu, or your companion menu, menu click on the register, and number one, it'll show you all the pets you have. We only have one pet so far. There's our little pet. But number two, you need to check on the animal and see what his native climate is. It will only lay an egg in its native climate, which happens to be a verdant planet. And lucky for all of us, we all start out with the same animal. We all have the same checkpoints. And the rendezvous, the checkpoint, is actually on a verdant planet. So... We're going to go through and you want to highlight. Reach the first rendezvous right here. And you'll see there's a marker right there for the first rendezvous. This one will check off all the rest of our milestones. We will visit a lush planet. We will hit the rendezvous and our pet will lay an egg on this planet. So let's get close to where the rendezvous is. And again, this marker only shows you the general area. Once we land, we're going to have to look for specifically where the rendezvous point is once we land. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to... Oh, I'm going to land over here. Because if you didn't know, if you land on these landing points, the green circles, it does not use any of your launch fuel. So, of course, you want to do that. So now if you pull up your visor, it will actually tell you, oh... This is where you need to go, over this direction, over here. 1,400 feet in this direction. Visited a lush planet. There we go. We knocked that one out just by landing on it. Let's collect the reward for this. So we got some planetary charts and 256 nanites. So our next one is induce a companion egg. So we need to actually pull out our companion, our pet. And say, hey, hey, do you want to lay an egg for me? Let's talk to him. Let's give him a treat because he's hungry. And because you see, he says, induce egg, he's feeling sad. So we need to pat him. We need to make him happy. That way he wants to lay an egg for us. And now he'll induce an egg because he's on the planet that he likes. A verdant planet. So there we go. So now, there he goes, he laid, he laid an egg, I love it. Next generation, delivered new life. And so you want to pick that egg up. Because we're going to need that later on. So keep that egg with you at all times. Well, you can put it in your ship if you want to. That way, you should be using your ship inventory because we're going to run out of space pretty quick anyway. So let's do that real quick. Let's move some of this stuff around. That way we have some space. And I don't like the rocket launcher, so I'm going to get rid of it. You can keep it if you want to. I... I want to use the car condensed carbon and the copper. You can turn into chromatic metal, so of course you want to use that. But yeah, then we can move some stuff around. That way we have more room in here. And let's put our egg. Where did our egg go? There he is. Put our egg in our starship. That way we don't lose it or sell it or anything like that. we got to keep it. And let's go over to the rendezvous. So again, remember, it was like a 1,000 feet this way. So let's head over to the rendezvous to, to finish out phase one. And actually, before we do that, I want to show you guys something. If you see a lot of animals like this, hit down on your D-pad, go over to your paw icon, and you're able to throw creature pellets out in the middle of a crowd. So let's click on that, and we're going to feed a large group of animals. And not only that, let's throw out a whole bunch of them. That way, we get a whole big group like that. You also want to take a picture of this. So down on your D-pad, go to your photo mode. And remember, you have to take a screenshot officially with whatever it says at the bottom of the screen. It says, like for me, it says A is take a screenshot. So you want to take a screenshot of this because if you get a picture of 10 animals or more, it's one of your milestones. So let's click on that. Took a screenshot right there. And there we go. Photographed a group of creatures. You have to photograph at least 10 creatures. So let's knock that one out really quickly. So we just did two of them real fast so oh wait a minute yeah man we need to collect our rewards as well i keep forgetting that so let's collect this one reward right here life support gel condensed carbon times 1200 i love that done 
All right. Then we also got a couple more. We got our swarmed. We fed a group of 10 creatures right there. So we fed 10 creatures at once. Let's accept that. We got a whole bunch of plants. Heck yeah. We got a whole bunch of plants. Knock that out. All those blueprints. And then we also got the take a picture of 10 creatures at once. Remember, you have to get all 10 in the shot at one time. You can't just take a picture of 10 different creatures. They all have to be together at one time. So we should... Oh, our inventory is full. We cannot actually accept this yet. So what we can do is go over to our inventory... Go over to our ship. Because the ship will have extra inventory space. But again, you're going to run out of inventory space real fast in this expedition, you guys. So keep that in mind. Let's do this real quick. Get inside the ship. And now if we accept the rewards, it will go into our ship, which is good. We got a Supreme Hyperdrive upgrade and multi-tool expansion. So yes, we want to put this uh, Hyperdrive upgrade in here next to our Hyperdrive. That way it actually gives us a little bit more room. So it was at 100 before. Now we're up to 500 range. So we can go up to 543 light years distance so that's a really good upgrade but we need to get to that rendezvous so actually you know what let's go to that rendezvous all right guys we're getting close i don't know if you can tell what we're going to be meeting at for the first rendezvous but i have a feeling i'm looking at it so you just have to get over to usually it's the launch pads over there is where the checkpoint is for the rendezvous let's keep going over here ah, i love it this is so cool look at that that's a really cool planetary archive. And this is a good place for you to buy and sell items. So if you want to sell some stuff, you don't have to go back to the uh, like space station or anything like that. I would always recommend going to the space station because that's where you can buy some upgrades with your nanites. But if you need to sell some stuff and get rid of it out of your inventory, these are a really good place to go. So let's get over here and come on. Really? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I was going to say, it should pop up any time now. Took it an extra, you know, second or two. So, yeah, we just finished all of phase one completed, which means we just got the backpack. So, in order to actually claim it, go back up to phase one. We've completed that. We have our reward right here. My inventory is full. Oh, man, I need to. Inventory is majorly full of stuff. All right. Well, you know what we can do? We can call in our, our ship. So there are launch pads here. So if you have navigational data, it does take one navigational data for it to... Oh, and there has to not be a person here already. But let's go over here to this one. Okay, maybe not. Not this one. Let's go to the next one. Come on. Yeah, they're taking up all the room here. I just want to call in my ship. There it goes. It takes one navigational data for it to happen. Oh, my pet's way over there. Come on. He's feeling grumpy. That's fine. And so now, oh man, we're we're packed in here too. Let's actually, let's see if we can accept our reward now. Inventory's still full. Wow. Okay. So we need to actually move some stuff over. Drop pod data. We oof, we don't need that, so we can get rid of that. And let's move some of this food over to our ship. There we go. That should be enough room, right? That should be enough room now. Let's do it. Yep. Okay. So now we got a thousand nanites, exosuit expansion slot, multi-tool expansion, and storage augmentation, which is for your ship as well. So now we are totally full of stuff, all right? But we can also claim our phase one reward, which is the reality glitch trail, the backpack upgrade, the jetpack upgrade. You can claim that now. So yeah, we got the reality, we got the reality glitch trail for our backpack. Hopefully you guys are liking the series so far. Hopefully it's helping you with some of the the more weird stuff that isn't really self-evident. You have to kind of know what you're doing. Hopefully, especially I, earlier today, photo mode seemed to be a problem for a lot of people. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit. And I will see you guys in the next episode.